Welcome back to another Santa's Village construction update. I've actually been given the opportunity by the park to fly my drone over the park during an off-season weekday. Thank you very much to Santa's Village for letting me do this. Today, we have a lot of very interesting developments going on. The first one that I'd like to look at is the actual front entrance. As I talked about in my last update, the entire front entrance has been ripped up. And as you can see in a lot of this drone footage, that is still the case, but they are slowly working on getting everything put back together for the reopening of the park here in a couple weeks. You can see that they are actively pouring concrete and also placing some paving stones uh, while I was there. And overall, I really like the look of this entrance. I always thought that entrance building was cool, but it was pretty cramped back in there um, with all of the old ticket booths and whatnot. I'm glad that they are simplifying the entry experience and making it a whole lot better. Moving on to the next big thing, the park actually announced this morning a new dark ride. This is the North Pole Expedition. It is a tracked indoor slash outdoor uh, dark ride. It uses a old ride system from a defunct park that they bought a few years back, and then it is themed in-house. Overall, these are the only teasers that we've seen from the actual inside the park so far, but I was able to get some drone footage of it. Here's a good overview of the dark ride building. It used to be an old barn of some sort. Um, when the past two times I've been there, there's been a small like tire train type ride inside this building, and then also some talking animatronic reindeer. Um, but it looks like they finally converted this building into a permanent dark ride. You can see it's placed in, in a predominant location in the middle of the park. And from what it looks like, it has it looks like it's going to have some cheery theming and will probably be great for the entire family. I'm really excited that they're installing this ride. You know, they, they've been installing like two rides per year. And that's been pretty a pretty intense pace and I'm glad to see that they have kept that up. In terms of dark rides in the Midwest, this is adding a plus one to uh, not really many others. Obviously there's Justice League and there's also the Sally Dark Ride at Legoland Discovery Center in Chicago. Up at the Mall of America there is a Boo Blasters style shooting dark ride and then also Volcano at Lost Island. But other than that, there's really a, a lack of true dark rides in the area, and this will be a great addition to the park. The next thing I want to look at is something that I only really caught out of the corner of my eye, but it looks like they're trying to install some new slides for this year. Now, they haven't really talked about this or announced it. They have teased. There was like one little teaser that talked about watch the water park and you know there might be something new coming but there hadn't really been been any movement but you can see up here those are definitely uh, footer holes and uh, that definitely is a cement truck and it looks like they're pouring footers and uh, that looks like it could be a catch basin down there and sure enough yeah in the parking lot there's some slide pieces these are, I took some pictures of the label, but these are from a Mexican company called Fibrart, or like Fiber Art, but Fibrart. And if we go on their website, we can actually see that this is a Aqua Racer model. It actually says this on the tag, and this is a multi-lane mat racing model. Um, it looks like there's at least four, it looks like there's going to be four lanes. Um, it's, it's just a simple ramp down but it looks like it'll be a fun little addition to the the park here's some pictures of the actual work site you can see that things are uh pretty preliminary at this stage you know they're they're still kind of working out all of the different foundations and whatnot so i wouldn't expect this to open with the water park or maybe even this year but they're certainly going to be adding a new water slide soon, which is great because the water park itself is fairly new and more attractions are always a good thing. Yeah, here's a good overview where you can see 
all of the different footers and how it'll run up from that barn structure all the way down to the bottom of the level. I, I think this will be a fairly sizable uh, water slide in general. Another small thing that's going on is that the, uh, the biggest roller coaster here is getting a repaint. It was looking pretty faded and uh, now, yeah, there it's getting this bright orange paint. There's actually someone working on the ride as I was there, priming up some of the rails and then putting on some nice bright orange paint. Glad to see that they're taking care of their rides. Just kind of looking at all this different drone footage, it really shows how much land this park has is working with. You know, the water park definitely has a lot of room to expand, and it, I, I'm guessing that they're hoping to expand that much further. And also, part of the history of this park is essentially back in 2006 or so, the park went bankrupt and everything was liquidated. Basically, every single ride was sold. And then around 2011, the the park was bought by its current owner and uh the the north side of the park reopened um the south side of the park the park i believe still owns the land but are just leasing it to this paintball company they do actually some pretty intense uh paintball setups that are themed to different video games and they also use the old ice rink as one of their paintball areas but this seems to be a pretty sizable uh, plot of land. Looking at it on Google Maps, I mean, like, it's probably a th adding, like, an additional third onto what they have already. So I hope that with the insane pace that this park has been growing, that they will eventually be able to use this land again. It would be awesome to be able to see... Uh, you know, the park expand back to its full size that it was back in its heyday in like the 80s and 90s instead of the, the whimper of a park that went into bankruptcy in 2006. You can actually see in this footage right over here that little loop of concrete was the original fire engine ride. So um, there's a old ride that goes back all the way essentially to when the park opened where... Um, kids will ride in this trailer that's pulled by a fire truck and then there's a house that's set on fire with some like gas lines and then they have to use these hoses to put out the fire it's a really cool like homegrown family attraction that's been an iconic staple of the park this reopened a couple of years ago in a different location in the current park um, you can actually see it parked in parked right over here with the engine up top and then the uh trailers on the bottom it runs along the bottom side of this park over to the birding house um, so they did actually eventually bring it back however the original location was back over uh what is on what is the paintball property another thing that i found in the parking lot was this contraption which looks like you know a really it looks like a base of a flat ride of some sort i'm not exactly sure what this is um but given the large steps and whatnot it definitely looks like very very flat ride to me you know it, this kind of looks like the same color as the old drop tower used to be um but i am not sure if that they if that if they still have that or not um, the also, also the top of this cover is a uh, pretty not square, so I'm guessing that it's something else, but yeah, it'd be really cool if they got another large adult flat ride somewhere. One interesting thing was, uh, actually back during the pandemic, they started a snow removal business. This was a good way to, uh, use their full-time employees to do something during the pandemic. I, I actually know RMC did something similar, um, but all of their equipment is actually out front here and it looks like they're all for sale. So it looks like they have finally emerged from that pandemic strategy and are uh, moving away from the snow removal business and back into just the theme park business, which is uh, a good sign for sure that they don't need the extra capital generated by a fairly simple snow removal business. Oh, and another thing that I noticed, I was looking back at some old pictures and while this sign is actually original from the, <laughs> like all the way back in the 1950s, um, it used to be a, just like a normal billboard underneath it, but now they've uh, put in this LED sign. 
that looks um it actually looks really sharp in person. They have one both for the main parking lot and the north parking lot. Overall, yeah, I certainly have high hopes for this park. Uh, it's definitely a nice family park now, but I'd love to see them continue to expand at the pace that they have and uh, keep getting better and better. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.